Do you enjoy your job? I mean, really enjoy your role and your organization? Because if you don't, today I'm going to give you six reasons why I think you should leave your job. Hey, meeting planners and meeting partners, it's Leanne from LeanneCalderwood.com. I have recently left my job of 11 years, and before we start to talk about today's topic, I want to give a huge shout out to my clients. Clients, I can't thank you enough for all of your support and words of encouragement over the past several weeks. You're big picture thinkers, and I appreciate your, the trust you're putting in me to create bigger and better resources for you. So more to come on my next move, but thank you so much for sticking it out with me, and I will see you all very soon. Now, when I went down this road to eventually leaving my organization, I asked myself a lot of questions and wondered if people also asked themselves these same questions. So I want to outline six things that really resonated with me in, I guess, what pushed me to look for different opportunities in my life. So I'm going to outline six reasons why I think you might need to leave your job. Number one, it is time to connect with new people. They say the number one reason that people leave their jobs is because they have bad bosses or bad leadership. But what I think those stats are missing is sometimes it's not necessarily about a bad boss. It's just that people need a new leader. So they're looking for new leadership ideas, new people to connect with, and even in some cases, new colleagues to learn from. So if you're looking for new ideas and leadership and mentorship, it might be time to find that in a different role. Reason number two, it's time to grow. If you are finding you are stagnant in your position, you're not feeling challenged day to day, maybe you're not exercising your strengths. And if you want to learn more about strengths, I have a video and blog post that you can access here. Then maybe it's time for you to find a new role or a new organization to exercise your strengths. It's such a waste of your human creativity to not fulfill your potential and so it might be time for you to fulfill it somewhere else. Reason number three, you need to be fair to your organization. Regardless of what you think of the current organization you're working for, they deserve the best version of you. They deserve 100% of your energy and your passion. And if you're not in a place to give that to them, then you need to be fair to them to find someone who is going to fulfill that role with energy and passion and bring their 100% to that role. So it is a selfless act being fair to your organization and moving on to allow them to fill your role with someone who might be a better fit right now for it. Reason number four, be selfless. So like number three, if you are in a role or a position and you're not feeling energized anymore, there are a ton of people out there who would kill to have a chance at your role or to have a chance to work for your organization. So you need to give them that opportunity. You need to vacate that role so someone else can come in with their new ideas and their new passion and energy and give it their 100%. If you find you're not giving 100% to your role, it might be time now to be selfless and move on. Reason number five, it's fair to your clients. Again, in the same way that you need to be fair to your organization, your clients are expecting the best of you. And if there's something weighing you down from giving it your all and your best to your clients, you need to find a place where you can do that. And that's kind of where I was. I, I need to find a place where I can do more for my clients and create new things. And, and that's why I'm moving on. There's a plethora of reasons why I'm doing it, but certainly this is one that resonated with me is I'm, I'm actually doing it so I can be a better person for the people who need me the most. And finally, it's fair to your family and friends. Now, our family and our friends, they are going to support us no matter what decision we make, no matter where we work, as long as it's legal, but they want to see us happy. And if we are not happy, it becomes a drain on them as well. 
uh, to lift us up out of that funk. So be fair to yourself, be fair to your clients, um, and more importantly, be fair to your family and friends by finding a place and a job that energizes you and makes you supremely happy. If you find yourself now questioning your role in your organization and wondering, is this the right place for me? These questions are normal and natural throughout your job. I am not condoning job jumping if you all of a sudden have a bad day at work. These questions come up as a, a culmination of things that have probably happened over the past months or years being with a role. And if you find yourself here and you feel comfortable reaching out, will you email me? Reach me at Leanne at LeanneCalderwood.com. I'd love to hear what your struggles and your frustrations are, and more importantly, how we can find a place for you that's just a better fit for your strengths. I am so excited about the next adventure for me. I am really, really stoked about what lies ahead. Uh, and more importantly, the blog is not going away. I'm going to be continuing to create content and put up videos for you. So please subscribe to my video channel below and so you can make sure that you don't miss a video week to week. And please stay in touch with me over at my blog at leannecalderwood.com. I'll be posting updates about my journey there as well. If you find yourself questioning about whether or not this job you're in is the right job for you, you're not alone. There's lots of us who have done it. And I encourage you on your journey to find a place that makes you truly, truly happy. Thanks for watching today's video and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.